Efficiency is important in any process. Hi, I'm Dan Harris, Secretary at the Wisconsin Department of Safety and Professional Services. And today I want to talk with you about how you can help DSPS and yourself when submitting your fire protection plans for review. You don't want to back and forth with DSPS plan review staff, and we don't want that either. Playing phone tag or responding to requests for additional information take valuable time and money. It's not efficient or effective, so today I'm sharing with you a list from our Fire Alarm Fire Suppression Program of common mistakes and omissions in fire protection plans. This can help you get your plan approved on the first try. First, a missing or improperly signed third-party signature form. Second, a missing or unsigned checklist. Third, missing or improperly signed plans. Fourth, missing equipment cut sheets. Fifth, missing or incorrect hydraulic or battery calculations and or voltage drop calculations. Sixth, a missing or improper sequence of operations. Seventh, an incorrect site ID, address, or municipality. Eighth, a missing parent permit. Ninth, missing room identifications on plans. And tenth, missing full height cross section on plans. Taking a little extra time to review for these common mistakes could save you time in the long run and lead to faster plan approval. If you have questions, you can always reach out to our reviewers at dspsfireprotect at wisconsin.gov.